Hi, Christina. Your question about what is it that's keeping society from catching on to this new biology is a very important question because that delay of adopting the new sciences is really what is keeping us from beginning our evolutionary jump into a higher level of consciousness. And you say, well, what is keeping the public from uh, receiving this information? The fact is, it's very simple. It's the self-interest of the money groups that like the structure the way it is. The institutions that have been here, invested in the world in the way we are living it right now, that put all their effort into that to have the public respond to that. All of a sudden you come along and say, well, there's new ideas, new beliefs, new ways of living. And yet, what the issue is for these entities, these institutions, is the concept of a new way of living and a new idea about life undermines their business plan. So basically it says that uh, the media, which is owned by the private interests and the corporate entities that pay for that media, also pay for what is being delivered through that media. It's a very simple point. And the issues why this becomes important is that the news is filtered. The filtered news supports the, uh, the actions and activities of the institutions that exist. And any news that is really contradictory to the established institutions is generally kept off of the mainstream media to keep the institutions in power and in control. So basically, the resistance is not from the people. The resistance is from those parties that are interested in keeping the situation uh, exactly the same without change because those institutions are making a substantial profit from the way the world is running right now and therefore have no interest in seeing a new way of life on this planet.